Howdy folks. Last time around we looked at the larger of the tripath diversions and today we're going to look at one of the smaller ones. So given the uh, model number here, the uh, LP2024, you would expect that this would have the uh, tripath 2024, uh, I think it's a TA2024 chipset in it, but it turns out that it actually has the uh, TAA2008, if I recall correctly, in a bit of a different package than we're used to. Instead of being the uh, fairly large chip with a heatsink like the, the 2020 or even the 2024, the 2008 is in a more consumer electronics friendly package. So if you check this. Actually, read that. Yep, tiny surface mount and no heatsink. So we'll have to see uh, how this guy does in performance. All right, let's hook it up and uh, see what it can do. Oh, yeah, before we do that, because you know, you got to do this side by side to see that uh, this has very little in common once again. All right. All right, so making the comparison here. Let's see, I only went up to uh, 14 volts, same as before. Basically, I don't want to kill these things. All right, so let's see here. If we look at, we're matched at about 70 on uh, 12 volts. Let's see, a little lower on the uh, one kilohertz on the high end. Going up to 13, they're still pretty well matched, 70.3, 70.4. That's definitely all rounding error. The uh, meter's nowhere near that, that precise. 113 versus 110, still we're a little lower on the top end. And then for your 14 volts, we're looking at 72 versus 71. And yeah, so it's actually uh, pretty closely, uh, pretty closely matched uh, for the for the original uh, 2028 plus, which is a little bit surprising, I guess, because the uh, the 2020 has a has such the the reputation. But yeah, it looks like this uh, this other little little chipset isn't half bad. So yeah, we'll get this updated in the. Uh, in the big table with uh, all the comparisons and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks as always for watching.